Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and Google has released an update to the developer preview of Android N, and it's brought along a few changes, so I figured I'd do an updated video. I do have a video of the first developer preview talking about all the core things that have changed, so check that out if you haven't. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get in and see what's new. One of the first things you'll notice is an updated look to folders on the stock Google Now launcher. I posted on Twitter about it. Got mixed feedback, so let me know if you do like these new folders. Here's with two apps, three apps, and four or more apps as well. The animation opening them is the exact same. However, there's just an updated look to them. The Google Now launcher is going to include launcher shortcuts as well. To give you an idea of what I'm talking about, I'm gonna to go to widgets. Something that's been there for a while is settings shortcut. You can customize a specific uh, setting that you would like to go straight into. So let's say I wanna go into data usage. I tap on it, it opens up data usage for me. Another example would be maybe uh, Facebook Messenger, if I wanted to send a message to a specific person, you can go ahead and say, Joe, Facebook Messenger, it's going to jump right into that app and compose a new message to Joe. Google has finally added something that I feel they needed for a long time, and that's a clear all option. So instead of just swiping away each individual one or pressing the X, there's a clear all button, but you'll notice it's not on the front here. You have to go all the way to the end of your apps to find that clear all option. That's a little unfortunate because those apps actually add up that list, that long list of them, but pressing that clear all button, that's the animation to get rid of all your apps. This update also brings some new emojis and it seems like Android's going to be going more towards human looking emojis. As you can see, these are more cartoons, but swiping over, here's a look at some of the newer ones with humans, uh, families, uh, there are some doing activities. There's a new bacon emoji even. And then there's also going to be skin variations as well in the near future. A little subtle animation I didn't mention in my previous video is of those back home and recent apps buttons. You'll see it kind of rotates with the entire screen. This is my Nexus 6P running Marshmallow. Now here's with the Android and developer preview. Just take a look at the subtle animation of that back home and recent apps button. There's still that dark theme you can enable under the system UI tuner. I also noticed that there are some icons that are colored as opposed to this light blue color. And then going back in terms of multi-window, kind of seems like you can now use multi-window and actually watch a video. So it just goes into the video player. You can't minimize or really act upon it, but you will play the specific video while you're in other apps. So let's say you want to send a test. I do not have YouTube Red though, for those of you wondering. So I'm actually playing a video and pausing it while also texting as well. Obviously when I'm typing, it's not really gonna look very good, but I'm in the other app acting upon it while this video is still running. This build also brings along Vulkan support and Vulkan is a new 3D rendering API. And essentially it just makes it easier to get better graphics performance through your multi-core processor. So that's really great to see, expect higher end games to be coming in the near future. There are other various bug fixes as well, but other than that, that's about it. All that's new in the Dev Preview 2 of Android N. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Lots more to come in Android N, even when it comes out of the developer preview. So make sure you click that subscribe button. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links in the description video below. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching.